DataWalk is a full-stack enterprise class software platform and includes facilities for data ingestion, transformation, storage, querying, and visualization, as well as a user interface. We also have open APIs that enable you to use DataWalk as part of an automated workflow. As a frame of reference, DataWalk is positioned relative to enterprise class solutions such as Palantir Gotham and IBM Enterprise Insights Analysis, or EIA. DataWalk utilizes a multi-layer software architecture optimized for scalability, security, flexibility, and collaboration between users. It's a very humble stack, and installation of the entire application is done with a single click and takes about 20 minutes. Our software is based on patented DataWalk technology. We have a number of patents, primarily for back-end data processing technology in our computation layer, which is really where all the heavy lifting is done in our system. The computation layer includes storage and is architected in a shared nothing approach providing horizontal scalability and the ability to quickly process vast amounts of data. Our data layout and related technologies ensure that data and queries are always properly and automatically distributed consistent with the key rules of horizontal scalability, which are even distribution of data and processing and limited rebalancing. This enables our customers to seamlessly expand capacity just by adding commodity servers. The DataWalk application layer does very little and simply translates user requests to the computation layer. The application server serves the RESTful layer. All of our system features in the UI communicate with this RESTful layer. With this approach, each user has access to all the data in the system and the data is always up to date. Now we'll go into a live system and this is the DataWalk Universe Viewer, which is essentially a simplified entity relationship diagram or ERD. This is used both to design the data model and to do querying and analysis. A custom model is easily created for each implementation, and we use an iterative process for this so that you can start with a small number of data sets, start getting results from that in minutes, and then incrementally add additional data sets, columns, and connections. Each icon represents a data set, and of course at any time you can view the underlying data in a set, where filtering, sorting, and searching is available. DataWalk provides various Excel-like operations on the table, such as combining columns, mathematical equations, or regular expressions. You can see how data sets are connected to each other, and for example, we have three connections between people and crimes. Once you configure a new connection definition between two sets, relationships between objects will be automatically generated and updated for both existing and then new objects. Typically, these connections use common keys, such as an ID number or a phone number, but you can also generate more advanced connections using geographical proximity, a range of time, and many others. So this is our model, and it's actually a highly flexible logical data model, such that you can easily modify this structure, add new data sets and connections, and so forth. With this approach, the ontology is flexible, which is unlike other systems where there may be a rigid model that you need to conform to. Changing the model does not impact adherence to the horizontal scalability rules. As we mentioned earlier, in DataWalk we also query this model, and this is done simply by filtering on data sets and connections and traversing the model. Now in traditional systems, you must know the specific question you want to ask before you can generate a query. DataWalk is different. In DataWalk, you can modify or refine your question as you build your query, and you can do this without needing to start your query all over again. In the industry, this is sometimes known as exploratory analytics. We'll do some simple querying by first selecting the watch list, and then the system will highlight all the connections and connected sets associated with the data in the watch list. We see that we have about half a million people on this watch list, and that 487 people in our people data set are on this watch list. We can filter the watch list via histogram to select only those on the watch list for financial crimes, and this leaves about 45,000 people, and we see that 45 of the people in our people data set are on this watch list and tagged with financial crimes. Now we'll select these 45 people, and at a glance I can see that 14 of those people have been incarcerated, have been connected to 53 addresses, and so forth. At this point, I can take my query in any direction I want. Maybe I think that it'll be useful to look into these incarcerations, so I can do something like see how many of these people have been incarcerated multiple times, and I can do that by setting a filter on the connection, and we see we have three such people. Now note that to do such a query using SQL or any other querying language, you need to understand all the data and all the relationships, but in our case, we simply filter and traverse through this visual interface to execute our queries. Now I may decide that this path doesn't look promising and that I want to go back to a previous step in this query. To do this, I can easily go back to a previous state that was captured here in the breadcrumbs, pick up from there, and take any new direction that I might want. So you see that I can choose whatever path I want on the fly. 
This is dramatically different than traditional approaches where you'd have to specify a complete query, and if you later realized you wanted to do something different, you'd need to modify the query and restart the entire query process. The other thing to note is that you can easily see the paths from one data set to another. For example, I can see how I can connect people on a watch list with license plate reads. In other systems, you often don't have such visibility on how to get from one data set to another. Also note that multiple queries can be combined in various ways. First is that you can instantly generate the intersection, union, or difference between multiple queries. And of greater interest, you can combine multiple queries into a score, such as a risk score, by identifying weights to each individual query. And unlike other systems, DataWalk technology ensures that these combined queries and scores can always be computed. Now I'll note here that all data has been ingested, and all connections are computed and persisted, and this is all done at the data level. This is key to enabling DataWalk to quickly execute queries, even for complex queries and vast amounts of data, and to effectively share information across many users. We've mentioned that the structure is flexible, and we'll give an example by importing another data source to the ERD. This is just a simple spreadsheet, but it illustrates the point. We'll drag it onto the canvas, check and confirm data types of each column, save it to the model, and now it's shown on our canvas. We change the icon to make it more visual. We establish a connection to a neighboring set. And this data is now part of our model and ready for querying. By establishing the connection on the Universe Viewer, all data elements in this set are now connected to the appropriate elements in the neighboring set, and you can easily add or modify these connections. Note that this approach is different than most other link analysis products, which require that you include the connections as part of the data that you import. With the simplicity of this approach and the flexibility of this model, DataWalk particularly excels with complex ontologies and complex analytics, things that would otherwise be very challenging for users who are not skilled SQL programmers. At any time, I can take data from the Universe Viewer to other facilities such as a link chart, where I can easily build out a link diagram with all the data and connections pre-configured and at my fingertips. DataWalk provides a comprehensive link chart facility with a broad range of functionality appropriate for the most demanding environments. Note that the back end of the system can also be thought of as a graph and relational database hybrid. We can do both graph algorithms and OLAP on a single instance of data without any data movement and under a single permission structure. DataWalk is uniquely able to quickly execute graph algorithms like Find Path or Find Shortest Path across very large amounts of data. DataWalk is also uniquely able to use our OLAP technology to visualize flows for vast amounts of data. As we mentioned earlier, we persist data and connections at the data layer. With this approach, users can truly collaborate and share data and analyses in real time without any synchronization operations. This is unlike many other popular link analysis tools, which operate at the visualization layer, where sharing is limited to sending around static files of link chart data. Earlier we showed how you can easily create and modify queries on the Universe Viewer. Now in other systems, you may run the risk of creating queries that the system simply cannot actually execute. These benchmark results show how after a relatively small number of joins, a relational database may be unable to execute the query. This is not an issue in DataWalk, due to our unique technology. As shown in this chart, DataWalk performance tracks linearly with the number of joins so that any query can actually be executed. We mentioned that DataWalk is architected to fit as an element of an enterprise workflow, and this diagram shows that in a bit more detail. What we show is that DataWalk can ingest data from other enterprise systems, data warehouses, and any desired external data sources. Any desired data can be ingested, and as we showed, it's very easy to add new sources for ingestion. The data doesn't have to be clean, as you can do basic transformations in DataWalk if needed. DataWalk is a system for analysis, and results from DataWalk can automatically be sent back to the origin systems, to reporting systems, or anywhere else as part of a broader workflow. Of course, if you don't have an enterprise environment or workflow, that's fine as well, as we're not relying on any of these external facilities in order to deliver value with our system. DataWalk is an open system, with APIs that enable data and analyses done in DataWalk to easily be made available to other programs. Our APIs are passive and always ready to be queried by external systems. The APIs utilize a RESTful interface and communicate via JSON. We provide libraries for connections to things like R and Python. In addition, you can also query DataWalk using JDBC. 
We're also adding to DataWalk a facility we call the Processing Plugin Framework, which is an active interface where customers, partners, and DataWalk field engineers can write and embed scripts that will run inside of the DataWalk application. Unlike passive API interfaces, this is an active interface, so it can proactively issue a signal. This is a very powerful facility and is an ideal fit for machine learning models, retrieving data from various external sources, and so forth. For environments with sensitive data, this can enable DataWalk SEs to work in the system without having the ability to actually see your data. DataWalk is a commercial off-the-shelf software platform, or COTS platform. The COTS approach ensures that all customers benefit from new innovations that we deliver via new releases, and we typically have about six releases a year. We hope that you found this technical overview to be useful, and we invite you to contact us via our website to learn more.